I chose it, well, because it came in my head. <laughs> um, I was actually in a worship service a while back. Actually, I think it was like maybe last summer. And um, Miss Charlotte Barnes was playing the piano, and her music is very inspiring, by the way. Um, side note. But uh, that's, you know, I was just in worship, and, you know, my heart was like, I heard unveiling. And uh, so I was like, well, okay, you know, what is that? And then put two together, you know, that's, that's our next performance. That's our next recital. So that's where that came from. Unveiling means to me the, the unveiling of the inner you, you know, God in you, you know. Um, there's something bigger inside of you than just what you see. And that's what, that's what unveiling is to me. Unveiling, all these students have such a great talent and anointing in them of dance and, and many more possibilities, not just dance. But that's the unveiling. Unveiling the inner being inside of you to be bigger than just what you see. My, 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 you look so fine But oh, you treat me bad And I, 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 I'm doing fine Without you in my head Ooh, we get me down Keep on hanging around. Ooh, I got to keep my feet on the ground. Ooh. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, my leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Back in our Studio 10 kitchen with, in fact, the Studio 10 director, Ryan Coleman. The question is, if you're out here, who's back there? I don't know. That worries me. I just who, have to have faith. Who knows what's going on? It may all work out, and I'm sure the cooking's going to work out for us. Yep. Tell the folks what we're, we're working on this morning. We are making what I call the Double Dare Sandwich. You want to know why it's called Double Dare Sandwich? I do. Because it's super sloppy. <laughs> I know it's how you as kids like them sloppy. All right, so it's got 
uh, ground meat and also yeah. the, uh, a pork as well, which you started in the first segment. Right, correct? I started with the pork uh, in the last segment. And what we did here is I just uh, took this big pork roast, mm -hmm. put it into the crock pot, and covered it with three different local barbecue sauces. We got Very Head cool. Brothers, uh, Viper, and Shed Sauce. Just lowered it in here. And you want to, I always do uh, fat side up. Mm. So the fat kind of melts into the meat rather than just being on the bottom. So with this sandwich too, uh, you know, we were referencing this earlier, you did not go with my name for it, which was <laughs> the sloppy jork, because it's a mixture <laughs> of pulled pork and sloppy joe, correct? I did not, because... Even the <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, at home you can choose which one you yes, want to call you it. Yes, you can. You can choose whichever title. But if you want to call it Sloppy Jork, I'm very, you know, libertarian when it comes to sandwiches. I think a man should be able to name a sandwich, uh, whatever he wants to name the sandwich. So I've chosen the Double Dare. Libertarian in refer in in reference to sandwiches. That's how Ryan Coleman lives his life.